I don't do much with politics usually, but I got hired to film one of Tulsi's campaign talks, and then I met the campaign team, and they're lovely, so now I'm part of it, I guess. So uh, we're canvassing today, basically going door to door, trying to sell signs. Those are the people with me today. I kind of feel like the getaway driver. <laughs> because there's no parking allowed on this road, so I'm just sitting in the car as they go up to houses. That's how I'm spending my day. Update, I'm holding a sign. How did I get involved in this? <laughs> and I've got music playing out of my PA system. I wasn't planning this, but there's a 7 o'clock to 11 o'clock event as well here at this brewery. Crazy. Haven't opened the chickens yet. Got my chicken mask. Let's see how they react. <laughs> Smaller reaction than I expected. <laughs> Everyone's out. Look at that, literally the whole family is here. You got both cats, both dogs, whole family. <laughs> Dahlia, come up my queen, to the mountain. Overlooking the patio. Whole family's here, Dilbert's way out there. This is a very cherishable moment, not gonna lie. Dilbert's over there. You're not even looking at me. Dilbert's over there. Jack, no eating. You smell like poop. Dolly, you're going crazy. Judy, come on up. Come up, my queen. Come up to the throne. Jack. Jack. Hi, Jack. Cat one, cat two, dog one, dog two, family one, two, and three, and four. Yeah. Hang loose. <laughs> Dilbert, stop, stop eating grass. Stop eating grass, Dilbert. You're going to throw up. Meow. 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 What you doing, Jack? What? You want to come up? Come on up, Jack. Come on up. Judy, you want to come up? This is the pet collective. All four pets hanging out together. You can barely see Dahlia, but she's there. <laughs> Dahlia, you're gonna get, you get, get stepped on. <laughs> All right, I'm here with Carl. Hey. I think I've vlogged about this before with Adam. We're on a trail off the highway next to the railroad tracks, and there's this little thing that goes and overlooks the river. We're almost there. Last time we were here, there was an abandoned campsite from some dude that had recently run away from the cops. Fun fact. <laughs> and uh, it's a gorgeous view. I can already see part of it. I didn't bring my drone with me, unfortunately, but there's always an extra. So 
So yeah, last time Adam and I were here, there was a stark naked dude sitting in the woods over there in a camping chair. <laughs> Booyah! <laughs> this is it. That's a long ways down. Kayakers. And we're gonna work our way down. This is the sketchiest part of the trail. Just gotta squeeze on by. Oh yeah, this will probably go on my Instagram story. Someone may or may not have died here. Prowler. Well, sounds like a dog's name. I bet it was a dog and they just like full send off the edge of this cliff. That's very sad. That tree's gonna fall. So unlike with Adam, we're actually going farther down the trail and uh, seeing a whole lot more cool stuff. Got the railroad right here and this old post. Probably a watering station, maybe. Yeah, I think so. It's got a hose inlet. Oh my. Interesting. Next stop, Canterbury Beach 2.0. I think it's 1.0 because it's the first Canterbury Beach I knew of, but the official one's at exit 18. But yeah, Carl here has never been here before, so that's weird because he's lived here almost his whole life. What's on the other side of town? It's like a whole other weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. It's very low right now. You could probably walk all the way across. And there are some people here in bathing suits. It's pretty hot for October. <laughs> I'm wearing three layers right now. Oh well.